Hey you guys In this video I am going to be tapping and scratching on this library desk in the Alexandria Library in Egypt Alexandria is a really large city in Egypt. It has a ton of history and they have built this amazing library. It's architecturally um, spectacular and a really great place to visit if you're in Egypt. At the end of the video I will just going to spin around and show you what I'm seeing from my vantage point here because it's, it's a very neat place. I had family in town visiting and um, I brought them here because I knew they'd really enjoy it but I've already done like the library tour and I decided to sit down while they did the library tour and um, film a video for you guys. I actually really wanted to walk through and tap on all the books for you guys but they had like these um, like caution tape like the ropes up where you couldn't actually walk into the section with books. Um, I don't know why, but it was only open for like people to study it seemed and to us. Of, um, they had like lots of information in this library about the history of Alexandria and Egypt and it, it was a really great tour actually. I did learn a lot when I went back three four years ago um, but yeah I don't know why the section for books was not open so I couldn't go and film in there but I decided to sit down and do tapping on this desk there's actually some great sounds around this desk as well little bits and pieces that I'll tap on for you as well and I'll do a few different ang camera angles too You can kind of see, like, behind me, the, the light that comes from the ceiling. They have it set up where the library is naturally lit by the sunlight, but um, it's like you don't get direct sun because they've got these, like, they call, they, she like described it as if, like, they're, um, eyelids kind of like or like designed like an eye where like there's like this lid that goes over half of it so like the sun doesn't come in directly I don't know how to describe it's like higher up than the window if you can see that so light comes in but it doesn't like come hit and hit you directly you're getting indirect sunlight So just pop the camera at a different angle here. So you could see what I was looking at. I like the wood chairs that they have in the library. I'll tap on the one next to me soon. But they're just like kind of a cool design actually. I'm 
So I'm actually quite introverted for an extrovert. <laughs> I'm always when I take uh, tests on extroversion, introversion, I always come out um, like right in the middle of the whole spectrum where it usually says I'm an extrovert but I'm like right on the border of being an introvert so I'm not a strong extrovert. Um, I definitely get energy from downtime, alone time, um, just sitting by myself and thinking and praying and processing and yeah, I need that time to be with people. But there are times when I, I just have so much fun with people and, and it's very life-giving and energising as well. So. Um, I've been with family for some time at this point and I love them so much but I do need alone time so filming this is like super relaxing to me and like getting just time for my brain to be quiet and not be answering questions, just sitting, tapping. Like, I'm usually pretty relaxed making videos for the most part. It kind of depends if there's like a lot of sound that I have to edit out. It can be a little bit less relaxing because I have to stop filming when there's sound each time and I like do a little signal to the camera so I can edit it out. Which a lot of you know already and sometimes I accidentally leave those in, sorry. <laughs> I try to edit them all out, but sometimes I miss one, miss them. But um, yeah, so it can be a little bit. It's not as relaxing when I have to edit out a lot of sounds and I have to keep stopping. But when there's like not very many interruptions in filming, it's super relaxing. In fact, I I just put out a video where I was tapping with my family member we were doing like double triggers she was tapping while I was tapping on different items or scratching or crinkles and it was so relaxing to film with her and it was cute because um she doesn't get tingles and usually like it would never make her fall asleep to hear sounds like this like noise of any kind sound of any kind will keep her awake so she doesn't like get tingles or like watch ASMR but she did a video with me and I thought she did an excellent job and she said as she was filming it was super relaxing to her and uh, she's like I feel so relaxed I was like yeah <laughs> it's kind of cool for her to like find like understand a bit what um how it could be relaxing for someone see my little tie-dye nails bit shorter than my normal really long nails because I wanted to I'm still working on healing the nails on my right hand so shorter can sometimes be more helpful you, you might I don't know you can probably see but two of the nails are short on my right hand in this case it's it's the camera split so it looks like my left hand here The two that are like healing still, I just kept them short and the rest I kept long, but because they're not super long nails, that wasn't as big as a difference visually. <laughs> P.S. I also took my family on a Nile cruise and I got lots of footage of like they have like entertainment on there and there's like a belly dancer and there's like a man that was doing this twirling with this like light up skirt and <laughs> um there were like these giant um 
pelicans, like real pelicans, in front of the cruise that I got footage of. Anyway, I'm going to put that on Patreon, just as some, like, extra... I just share things on Patreon like that sometimes, so I'll, I'll put that up on Patreon soon. It will just be, I don't know, maybe like five minutes worth of footage that you can kind of see the Nile and um, the dancing, some of the fun things outside of the, the boat before you get on. I really enjoy the Nile cruises. I've gone on one four years ago and then this one. But if you're ever visiting Egypt, it's pretty fun. You get dinner and you get to watch like the shows on the cruise and you get to like walk up or on the sides of the boat and just enjoy the Nile as you're going down it. And the city all lit up on either side. I'm not a big museum person, personally, and the people with me weren't either, so I like trying to find some things for them to enjoy and um, do in Egypt was like, like it, you, you're kind of looking for different things if the people you're sh taking don't, aren't big on museums, because there's lots of different museums you can go to here. I get a bit un like antsy, like I just want to run around and I, I can't like, I don't know, stand still that long and look at things, like I appreciate them but like I, I can't appreciate them for long periods of time, like I have to move quickly through a museum so standing for long periods of time and just like looking at one thing like I, it's not my specialty. <laughs> So something like the Nile cruise for my personality was, was really fun for me. Okay, so I'm kind of at a different perspective here. They've got this little area where you can plug in your laptop or recharge your phone, etc. It's got this little, like, I don't know, furry part. <laughs> but, like, I'm guessing it makes it quiet when it closes. I don't really know the purpose. That was my guess. Just a little sign for COVID, just um, making sure like people don't sit right next to each other. little reading light yeah each desk has one so I'm just gonna show you a little bit here but I'll show you more at the end I'll do a big like circle for you around the space that I'm sitting in So there's wood, and then this like, I don't know what this is, some kind of plastic. This is my water bottle, my glasses, and my ticket there. Yeah, I don't really know what that the plank part is made up of. 
Maybe there's wood underneath and kind of some kind of, I don't know, strong plastic like covering. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and spending this time with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Alexandria library desk <laughs> and now I'm just going to kind of show you around me so you can see more of what things look like here it's huge so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night and I hope to see you in the next video Thank you so much for watching and if you ever want to stop by the Alexandria Library, I hope you love it. <laughs> okay, bye for now.